Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our 2004 Spring Showcase. I almost said, I did say 2004, not 2024, didn't I? I only had one cup of caffeine this morning instead of my usual two, so forgive me. Well, as I said, welcome to our Spring Showcase, regardless of the year. And this showcase is, I would like to say, a year of hard work on behalf of all of our students. But truth be told, several of the students that you're going to see perform today have only had about 10 or 12 weeks of lessons, if that. So we had some people that were very eager to get up on stage and show what they've learned. We have people who have been in the studio for three or four years as well. And we have folks of all ages performing today, which I'm very excited about. We have a few students who were not able to be with us today and they submitted video performances that you will get to see this afternoon and I hope you'll enjoy them just as much as I did watching them when I received these performances. A few housekeeping items before we begin. I ask you to please turn all cell phones, pagers, and other digital gizmos to silent if you have not already done so. Fun fact, most of those devices actually interfere with sound systems and lighting systems, so when you are in a theater, you should actually probably turn them all the way off, but I know we may still be waiting on a few performers today, and some of you may want to take vo videos and photos today, and that's just fine. I welcome you to do that. In fact, speaking of videos and photos, you'll see I have two aisle seats reserved. I am calling them the paparazzi seats. So if you would like to have a clear, unobstructed view for your camera of your performer, please feel free when you see them getting up to move that you can also move into those seats and have a nice shot of your performer, whether that's uh, a video or a still photo. As you'll see, the title of today's program is Disney Plus. How many of you have that subscription at home? I am not going to try to steal your password today. However, this year is the 100th anniversary of Walt Disney Studios, and there is just such a wealth of music that came out of that studio over the past century, not to mention everything they've bought up over the past 25 years or so, like the Star Wars franchise, Marvel, uh, the Muppets. There's great music with the Muppets. And I was very surprised that everyone chose what I'm going to call classic Disney songs, meaning they were written for the studio. We have music from, dating from the 1950s all the way to the current day with the Bluey theme song, which is actually going to kick us off in a moment. Lost my train of thought. The bubble will come back. But the plus also implies that there is more music. We have some contemporary and classical piano solos for you today. We have a fair amount of music from the world of Broadway and musical theater. And I hope you will enjoy this afternoon as much as we enjoyed putting it together for you. Here in the Disney lineup, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna brag just a little bit about few, a few people. We have Kate Watson, who has made appearances on the Benetton stage with Pittsburgh Ballet Theater in their production of The Nutcracker. We have Gabby, who will be accompanying herself as she sings the theme from Beauty and the Beast, who also has been in three different shows this year? Three different musicals this year. Uh, we also have Leela, who was in her school performance of Annie Jr., and my goodness, it was the first junior high show that I've ever seen that I thought, this looks like a high school show. It was amazing. Uh, we also have Anastasia singing on this portion of the program. She is a sixth grader at Kappa. She's had a few solos there over the past year. And we have Gwen, who got to make her musical theater debut this year in a production of Mean Girls, also with Marion, who you will meet later on the program. But I'm going to ask Preston to come up, and he will be playing, as I said, the, the Bluey theme song. And when he asked me about this several months ago, I was not familiar with the TV show. And ironically, on a Facebook post, one of my former neighbors posted, you know, I think if everybody watched one episode of Bluey a day, the world would just be a much happier place. And I shared this with Preston, and I shared this with Preston's father when he picked him up. 
And Preston's dad just nodded and very solemnly said, I aspire to be the father that the dog dad on Bluey is. And then I said, oh my, I need to watch this show. So lo and behold, that night at 11 o'clock, what was on Disney? Bluey. And I have to say, I really agree with Preston's dad and I really agree with my neighbor. I aspire to be the type of role model that those parents are and I really do think if everybody took 21 minutes out of their day and watched an episode of Bluey, the world would be a more harmonious place. So I'm gonna turn it over to our first performer. Hi, my name's Preston. I'm playing Bluey theme song because I like the TV show Bluey. My name is Kate, and I'm going to be singing I Want to Be Like You from the Jungle Book. I wanted to play this, I wanted to sing the song because it's kind of funky and fun, and that's pretty much me. <laughs> Oh, oopie-doo, ba-doo-boo. 
Hi, my name is Gabby Veeman, and I will be performing the main theme from Beauty and the Beast. The reason I chose this is because Beauty and the Beast is one of my favorite Disney movies. My name is Leela Norman, and I will be performing I Won't Say I'm in Love from Hercules. I picked this song because I, uh, my, it's, Hercules is my favorite movie um, slash Disney movie, and I just love the character of Meg, so this is what I decided to do. a price for rotten judgment I guess I've already won that No man is worth the aggravation That's ancient history been there, done that Dying to cry your heart out. Oh, 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 no chance, no way, I won't say I'm no, no. 
this scene won't play I won't say I'm in love You're way off base I won't say it Get off my case I won't say it Hello, my name is Katherine Mahler, and I will be performing for you How Far I'll Go from Moana. I chose this song because, one, it's from one of my favorite movies, and two, because it makes you feel as if you have to, as if you have to choose a path in life. <laughs> could be the perfect daughter, but I come back to the water, no matter how hard I try. Every turn I take, every trail I track, every path I make, every road leads back to the place I know where I cannot go, where I long to be. See the light and the sign of the sea, it calls me, and no one knows. Everybody on this island seems so happy on this island. Everything is by design. I know everybody on this island has a role on this island. So maybe I can roll with mine. I can lead with pride. I can make us strong. I'll be satisfied if I play along. But the voice inside sings a different song. What is wrong with You're welcome. My name is Anastasia Wisnowski, and I'm going to be singing Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid. The reason that I chose this song is because it's, it's just really fun to sing, and also I literally am Ariel, like, <laughs> so, I mean. Twenty, but who cares? 
No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them? Jumping, dancing, strolling along down the, what's that word again? Street. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun, wandering free. Wish I could be part of that world. What would I give? questions and get some answers what's a fire and why does it what's the word burn when's it my turn or didn't i love love to explore that shore up above out of the sea wish i could be of that My name is Gwendolyn Murren, and I will be singing Poor Unfortunate Souls from The Little Mermaid, mainly because I really like the character's pizzazz. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me well a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways, repented to Choice. A 
am a very busy woman and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much. Just your voice. You poor unfortunate soul. So sad, but true. If you want to cross a bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath and go ahead and sign the scroll. Flat some jets and I've got her, boys. The boss is on a Sarah Coleman. I'll be singing Colors of the Wind from Pocahontas. I chose this song because it's one of my favorite Disney movies. You think you own whatever land you land on. The earth is just a dead thing you can claim. But I and tree and creature has a life, has a spirit, has a name. You think the only people who are people are the people who look and think like you. But if you want the footsteps of a stranger, you'll learn things you never knew, you never knew. colors of the wind. You need to paint with all the colors of the wind. Come run the hidden pine trails of the forest. Come taste the sun-sweet berries of the earth. All around you, and for once, never wonder what they're worth. The rainstorm and the river are my brothers, the heron and the otter are my friends, and we are all connected to each other in a circle, in a hoop that never ends. If you cut it down, then you'll never know. And you'll never hear the wolf cry to the blue corn moon, or whether we are white or copper skinned. You need to sing with all the voices of the mountains. You need to paint with all the colors of the wind you can own the earth and still all your own is earth until you can paint with all the colors of the wind begin our next section, I'm going to ask three students to come up here. Could I please have Gabby, Preston, and Marion join me on stage? Come on up here, you three. They have no idea why they're up here. It's okay. It's for a good reason. All three of these students over the past year hit a big milestone. They achieved 50 lessons or more at East End Performing Arts. 
from their studies over the past year. So can you please give them a hand for their dedication and their perseverance? One of my favorite things about teaching is that I get to watch so many people change and grow. And Gabby, I think I've known you for three or four years now. Marion and Preston, we've known each, I've worked with them. We've worked with each other for the last two years. And it's just always a joy. It's just always really fun to get to know some new people. So thank you very much. Uh, do you wanna go ahead and get, a, get seated? So we're moving into a piano specific portion of the program called Classical and Contemporary. As I mentioned earlier, Marion is not only one of my uh, voice students that attends CAPA, which is the Creative and Performing Arts School for grades 6 through 12 within the City of Pittsburgh School District. She studies voice with me as well as piano. And then one of our students that I mentioned that was not able to be here today is a young lady named Jana Denovich. She is a very accomplished pianist for her age. And the music that you're going to hear her perform via video is a medley of music from the television series Doctor Who. Do I have any Doctor Who fans out here? A few of them, a few, okay. It's, it's a series I need to start watching just based on the music. Uh, the music that she will be performing on her video is based on a medley that was performed at the BBC Proms several years ago. And what's rather noteworthy about this is Yana decided she wanted to arrange some of it herself. So the music that you're hearing is not actually always in the order that it was in originally. She cut and pasted a few places. She made a few of her own transitions. So I just wanted to point out her knowledge of theory and her willingness to use that in performance. But for now, I'm gonna turn it over to Marion. Hello, I'm Marion John Jack, and I will be performing Mozart Medley by Mozart and arranged by Jennifer Eklund.
Bogdanovich, and today I will be playing a Doctor Who medley composed by Mary Gold. I really enjoy playing this piece because it has so many different parts.
traffic behind me says, we're now heading into the wonderful world of musical theater, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about some of the performers you're going to meet in this section. Our first performer, Liam, is rather new to the studio. We began working together last August. Does that sound right? So we've been working together not quite a year, and Liam auditioned for and was accepted to a school that you've heard me mention before, Pittsburgh Kappa Creative and Performing Arts, and it's, it's really an honor to be accepted there because anyone in the Pittsburgh schools district, Pittsburgh school district, can audition. So you are competing against hundreds of other kids. And I'm very proud of you for the work that you put in. Liam really just started studying singing, as I said, last August. And in a matter of months, he found himself accepted into the school that he wanted to go to for middle school. So I'm very happy for and proud of him. You're going to meet Leela again. You're going to meet two of my ad adult students. Kieran, unfortunately, has the upper respiratory crud that is going around to so many of us and woke up on Wednesday with morning with laryngitis. However, he had recently filmed audition material for a production of SpongeBob SquarePants the Musical that will be running this summer at the Theater Factory in Trafford. The Theater Factory is unique because they employ both professional and amateur actors. So Kieran was thrilled that though he works with software by day, by night this summer he's going to be working with a mixture of professional and semi-professional actors as a member of the, I believe it's called The Skates. Marion, you just did that show earlier this year, am I correct? Is that a character? The Electric Skates, I knew I was missing something. Thank you, so we're really happy for Kieran that he booked the gig with the material that you are about to see. Paula, who is not only a student, she is a friend and fellow singer of mine, is also a competitive ballroom dancer and has placed first in any, comp the last three competitions that you've gone to, but in any style of dance, is that correct? Which I am very impressed by because I have two left feet. While I'm up here, I would also be remiss if I did not thank the people that helped make today possible. So I'm going to start with those who are physically closest to me, Devin Doshi and Aaron Huffman, who are two former students of the studio. They have now moved on and are both very interested and invested in filmmaking. They're both in the WQED Filmmakers Program. So you have them to thank for wanting the sound today and for assisting with the videography that is happening right now. We're filming live with three different cameras and all of that is thank you to Mr. Brian Slavinsky up in the booth who is the head of AV here at the School for the Deaf. He is live switching between three different cameras so it's a little bit like you're on an award show today and he is going to edit this all together for us, and then later this week, you're going to have a wonderfully produced video sent to you of today's performance. I said to Brian earlier this week, I'm convinced that the nicest people in Pittsburgh work here at this school, and he said, I wouldn't disagree with you, and something happened today, <coughs> pardon me, that proved my point. Just before we were to begin, a security officer came in and said, you know, you're the only event in the building today and there are three cars parked in the far corner of the parking lot. One of them is a white SUV, one of them is a gray Chevy, and I'm not sure what the other car was, but I believe it was a four-door sedan. There was cash found on the ground near those three cars, so if that sounds like it might be your vehicle, please check your pockets, check your wallets before you leave, and if you think that you're missing a little bit of cash, please come see me and tell me the amount that you're missing and we will reunite you with those lost funds. <coughs> Excuse me. I also want to thank, thank Marion's mom, Maureen. She was here earlier today while we had rehearsal, helping to make sure everything ran smoothly in the house. And it really just goes to show you that it, it takes a village. But I also want to thank all of you who are here today to support our artists. If people didn't have someone to believe in them, they wouldn't make it up here. So thank you to all of you who sacrificed your time, your funds, your gas mileage to get to lessons on time. I greatly appreciate it. I'm so honored to be a part of your growth as people and as artists. It's one of my favorite things in the world. So I think you've heard enough from me and I'm going to invite Liam up.
Uh, hello, my name is Liam. Today I shall be singing Edelweiss from The Sound of Music. I chose the song because I did it for my Kappa edition, but I also really like um, The Sound of Music, so, and the song, so I'm gonna sing. So as our next performer makes her way to the stage, this, it is on, I also want to thank a few of my current students who pitched in at the last minute to help. Gabby Veeman and Kat Mahler volunteered to pinch hit for some character work in a few of the upcoming songs. So thank you for joining in. Hello again. As you may remember, my name is Leila Norman, and this time I will be singing Go Go Any Foster um, from Talk Everlasting. Uh, some, some of you might have heard me sing it in the Christmas fiasco, um, <laughs> but I, that time I only had two lessons practicing it, and now I have many more, and we've added some things, so I hope you enjoy it even more than you might have last time. And as she said, I would like to thank those two uh, wonderful friends that are helping me with this song. Because and I cannot, have do, can, cannot do it without them. And I'm going to add how proud I am of Leela because the Christmas fiasco that she refers to was supposed to be an outdoor Christmas caroling event. And we had terrible rain and sleet that day, and on about 90 minutes notice, it got moved indoors to a totally different venue. And because of the weather and because of a terrible accident that shut down the parkway, we had many performers that were late. So I simply looked at the students and said, does anybody want to sing anything that they're currently working on or play anything that they're currently working on? And there was silence. And then Leela stood up and said, I'll sing Good Girl Winnie Foster. I just love that song. And I think we had about two lessons in on it at that yeah. point. Yeah. So I was really proud of you then, and I remain proud of you today for continuing, continuing your character work and your musical work with this song. in a house that's sad and lonely on a street named Maine but you can call it only is it rude to say I'd volunteer for a day of fun just once a year I'd fly the coop if only I could got a pretty bad case of being good 
I'd go find trouble if there was some to get in. As a friend to play if I'd one to let in. Nana's rocker sawing through the floor every day just like the one before. We lock ourselves behind that door. Is it wrong to wish for something more? That's enough surprises for one morning. Winnie, why did your bag just croak? My new friend Toad, I found him by the fence. Winnie, you know better than that. Take that disgusting thing outside where it belongs. Yes, Mother. Got us out of the house. Are you from the wood? I'm not allowed there. Big news, I know. I'm not allowed anywhere. Well, now's your chance to disappear. Go have fun, I'll be right here. Tied to a string like a precious pearl. It's a pretty tight leash for a really good girl. Prize one from the SpongeBob SquarePants musical. Why can't they see? I wore my good shoes and I've got my tie on. Maybe it's me. Am I just a simple sponge you can't rely on? All I want's for someone to notice who I am. Do you have to make me say it out loud? Come on, Mr. Krabs, this is more than just a job. Let me show you, let me make you proud. I've been waiting patiently to be the sponge I'm meant to be. Won't anyone believe? and I will be singing Wizard Duke Whatever from the musical Be More Chill. I know Freddy know what it's like to be the loser. I should find out what it's like to not be the loser or the geek or the whatever. I've earned the right to selfishly be all for one and one for me. I've wasted all eternity 
just being a loser, the geek, or whatever. I'm steady as the games begun. I'm ready, set, I'm player one. The future's now, I'm freaking done with being the weirdo, the wuss, the underdog. I'm not the loser, the geek, or whatever. Oh, I'm not the loser, the geek. No, never, no. I'm not the loser, the geek, or whatever, ever again. <laughs> Hello, I'm Paula, and I'm going to be singing the song Impossible from Cinderella. Have you ever tried to do something or wanted to do something and everybody says, she can't do it, he can't do it, she's crazy. But what if it's everyone else who's crazy and you can do it? And we will be performing She's My Sister from the concept album from the musical The In Between. In the song, I'll be portraying Alice, a lovable big sister. And I'll be portraying Flick, a misunderstood little sister. Who's also very annoying. I will now flick your hand off my shoulder. <laughs> this is the last song for our performance today, so I hope you enjoy it and thank you. We've been living for years like this Slighting and fighting and fighting with each other Sometimes there's 
genuine fun sisterly care and affection and then I see she's ruined my favorite jumper the loving feeling's gone breaking is something flakes good at she touches things and then destroys them I should lock my bedroom door dishes are something she's not good at she's also bad at cleaning and leaves her knickers on the floor I just want her to try take her head out the sky and consider what I might want to why can't she be a little less annoying I don't want her to feel that I want with each other Nagging For Alice it's like hugging I think it's how she shows affection Maybe I should be flattered But she keeps on And she sings in the shower 5.30 in the morning Once again, oh, that's a really live mic. Once again, I thank you all for coming. I thank you for supporting the art in your loved ones and for supporting the arts in general. Please get home safely, have a wonderful afternoon, and we'll see you back here next year. <laughs>